Late last month, author and filmmaker Matt Walsh, who did the blockbuster documentary and book called What is a Woman? Well, he lit up social media with a report that shocked millions of us. And it's prompted calls from lawmakers to investigate Vanderbilt University Medical Center and their pediatric transgender clinic. One of those lawmakers is Senator Marsha Blackburn, who says there is nothing healthy about mutilating the bodies of minor children. And there's nothing moral about putting profits ahead of them either. I want you to welcome back to our show one of our very favorites and a true courageous member of the United States Senate, one who will get things done, Senator Marsha Blackburn and The Daily Wire's Matt Walsh. Give him a big welcome, please. So glad to have both of you here. Matt, let me start with you. You recently found out that Vanderbilt Medical here in Nashville um, is doing some things that are just, I think, shocking to many of us. What did you learn and how did you find out about this? Well, we, we know that uh, look, medical clinics and hospitals all across the country are mutilating kids, they're drugging kids under the, you know, under the, uh, the pretense of, of affirming their gender, which is to actually try to change their gender, which is impossible. And we know this is happening all across the country. And, and given that we live in Nashville, we became curious about, well, we've got Vanderbilt right down the, the street from us, so what are they doing? And so we kind of, we looked into it. We spent about a week investigating it. When I say investigating, we just, we, we looked at videos and material that they had posted over the years and no one had sort of noticed. And, uh, but we did notice it. And what we found is that, you know, at Vanderbilt, like in some of these other hospitals, um, they are performing double mastectomies on minor girls as young as 16 years old mm. to try to masculinize them and, and turn them into boys. Uh, they're giving drugs to, to kids as young as 13, um, irreversible cross-hormone drugs that, that change their bodies irreversible. They're, they're giving uh, uh, pu so-called puberty blockers, which are chemical castration drugs, to kids even younger than that. Um, and this is, this is what they're doing. We also found videos where they talk about, they have one doctor who's, who's very proudly talking about how one of the reasons they got into this business is because there's lots of money to be made in it. In fact, she said it's a big money maker. Wow. And that's one of the reasons that they're doing it. Yeah. Senator, I know that you were one of the first people to be very unhappy to find this out. And uh, you've not been silent about it, which is no surprise. You're, you're pretty outspoken, which we appreciate. But what was your reaction when you found out that this was going on right in your state, Tennessee? When you look at what children are being subjected to, and you realize that they are able to go to this clinic, we're trying to find out if there is parental participation in this. We have written the FDA to find out if there are clinical trials that have been done. Are they looking at long-term effects? How are they studying the children that have been given these drugs that are being used as puberty blockers? And interestingly enough, many of these are being used off-label, and they're not drugs that are approved for children. So this is a way that the federal government has a responsibility. And you know, Governor, I think one of the things that gets lost in this, when you look at the left and you take everything into effect with CRT, what happens to kids on social media, question your gender, all of this, the left wants to control how you teach your children. They want to control your child's life and they're missing the point. The point is a parent is there to love, to teach, to train those children. It is not the government's job. Absolutely. And to do this without Absolutely. having the parent involved and finding out which medical centers are doing that, which are trying to use federal funds. Those are questions we want to know. You just mentioned something that no one has brought up before that I've heard. And that is that some of these drugs may be used off-label. In other words, they were never intended for this purpose. They may have the effect. And I'm thinking, we had medical doctors in this country who lost their medical license because they were using hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin to treat COVID patients because they weren't specifically designed for that. Matt, do you think people will lose medical licenses if they are discovered to have used drugs off-label? 
Well, that hasn't happened yet. We're working on that in Tennessee. You know, we're, we're going to try to pass a law in Tennessee that, that bans, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, of, of gender affirmation for kids. Any, any, any irreversible changes made to children in the name of changing their gender should be banned. And that's what we're working on. The thing is, these kids, the other thing we have to keep in mind is that kids cannot consent. Like a child can, cannot consent because they don't have the, the psychological uh, maturity to, to understand what they're, what they're doing and what the long-term effects are. And so anytime this happens to a kid, there, there, there could not be consent. It's happening against their will because they can't have consent because they're kids. I mean, it, it truly is a form of child abuse. We don't let kids vote. We don't let them buy alcohol or tobacco. We don't let them have a driver's license. We don't let them enter into contracts. And the reason is, is what Matt just said. This is frightening because we're putting an extraordinary sense of burden on children. Correct. Senator, it, it, I mean, it sounds like a form of child abuse for this mutilation to happen to these kids' bodies. And yet, you have people like Gavin Newsom that signed a bill this week that said children from all over the country can come there without the parents' consent and can get these surgeries, take these medications. Uh, as I said, we don't know what kind of clinical trials, research, how they're looking at long-term effects, how they're going to study children that have been subjected to this. We don't have any of that information, and the goal is to protect the children. And the psychological pressure and the abuse on those children is of tremendous concern to me as a mom and a grandmom. Matt? I know that you and the Daily Wire are sponsoring a rally. Tell us about when and where, and what, what do you hope to, to be able to do with the rally? Yeah, October 21st, uh, outside the Capitol building in Nashville, we're all gonna be rallying to, you know, we're calling it the rally to end uh, child mutilation, which is, what, which is what this is. And we've gotten a, an enormous response just in the last few weeks, ever, ever since the uh, expose came out on Vanderbilt. I, I think what we find is that you don't need to explain to most people why it's wrong to mutilate children. What we do need to explain to people is that it's happening. Once they know it, I think every decent person, uh, no matter where you fall in the political spectrum, yeah. is against it. So we hope all those people come out on October 21st so we can all speak up. About yeah, th this truly rises above politics, and, and I hope that if people have not seen those videos, because Vanderbilt scrubbed them from their website, you have them at the Daily Wire where people can still see them. You were able to capture them and archive them. Uh, and, and if people say, that's just not true, there's no way Vanderbilt would have ever done something like this. Well, you can see it for yourself and you can either say, no, it didn't happen, or you can believe your lying eyes. But I mean, there it is in living color. Thanks to both of you. Senator, I appreciate you having the courage to stand Absolutely. and uh, fight this issue and not just say, look the other way, it didn't really happen. And Matt, you're just a doggone troublemaker. Do you know that? Every time you show up, you just are causing trouble. And thank God you are. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you causing that kind of trouble. Now, if you need the details on the rally to end child mutilation, plus how to keep up with Senator Marsha Blackburn and Matt Walsh in real time, we have links for both of them at Huckabee.tv, and we hope you will take advantage of linking to them and standing with them, because they're standing for us.